If we go this route, this is going to be the end of your family. This is going to be the end of Always and Forever. The very end of season four, we defeated this presence called the hollow, but we did that by each taking a part of the hollow into ourselves. Transfer the hollow's power into four immortal vampires. Then just send us on our way. So the evil is drawn, quartered, and separated for all time. Well, if it'll save my little girl, then we will make it so. So we saved hope by doing that, but what that meant is we can never be in proximity to each other. The magic that those four carry inside of them, if we just put two of them in the same place, it is a ticking bomb. So it meant the end of the family being together, and I certainly couldn't be near my daughter again. He loves you, but he just knows that being near you puts you in danger. A phone call wouldn't. I mean, let's face it. <sighs> Klaus Michelson's kid was always going to have issues, you know? Maybe it's better he wasn't around for a little while. An old favorite. Try as I might, I can't resist a familiar refrain. This season really is about the Michelsons trying to find a way to bring the family back together. You know, facing that obstacle of, all, of having this kind of dark magic inside them where they can't be in the same space without death and destruction. Uh, it's it's about them trying to learn how to be a family again, trying to trying to uh, close that distance, you know, and, and in in as safe a way as possible. There were some issues.